Welcome to What's the 4 on 1's Quick Takes on Urban Lifestyle and Entertainment News. I'm Kizzy Cox. I'm Onika McLean. Hey, girl. We back from hiatus. We, we are, are back. back. You guys missed us, right? I know. I missed you guys. <laughs> I missed you, too. Yes. I missed you, too, girl. But you're doing big things. I see you. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know who else is back from hiatus? Who? Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams. Yes, yes. Spilling that tea. She's spilling all the tea. All the tea. <laughs> She's back on her show after several, I think it was actually a couple months that she was away. Mm -hmm. And um, the first thing that she did was come on there and talk about how she was Mrs. Hunter. And her family was doing absolutely fine. And don't talk about her marriage until you don't see her wearing this, her, her wedding ring. So she Don't read everybody. Don't talk about her marriage. She's the queen of talk. Exactly. We're gonna talk about your marriage, and if you hit up a lot of those women <laughs> on YouTube, they have they have, they're like Roman reporters. They're like, and then I went inside the mailbox and I saw his, <laughs> I saw his name. I'm like, damn, you go to people mailbox. Exactly. They, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, they it's, know. It's they got lot. the tea on yeah, her. Yeah. It's a lot. Like, yeah. It's 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 been a thing. And she's being dragged for it. But yeah. Yeah. You know what? Who else is being dragged a little bit? Mm. Uh, we can't say Tamar and her edges because Tamar's <laughs> bald, right? But Vince, you know Vince that was, she, yeah. they're still married actually, right? They're still together. Uh -huh. okay. So he just came back from a medical leave like, mm -hmm. he, and, and uh, he's being dragged financially. So he's being sued really? for uh, $38,850 for some rent that he didn't pay. Like why is what? he paying rent? I don't know. And then he bounced a couple of checks. I, well, Blast said this, allegedly, for us. Oh. But we got this from Blast, and then he bounced a couple of checks totaling $10,000. Like, what's going on? I, I think have it's, no idea. That's really weird. All his fan love and war. Uh. Came up and got him in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> she like, she like, shit, shit. So you think it's kind of like a, a Mary J. Blige kind of thing? Like the reverse. Had, yeah. yeah, you don't think so? Tamar's not on any shows. She's just talking <laughs> crap on uh, social media. <laughs> She won Big Brother. Didn't she win Big Brother recently? Did she win Big I think Brother? She won. I think she won. Yeah, she won. Okay, so I would think that Big, Winning. Brother, Big Brother is a show that I don't know about, guys. Because <laughs> so, I've been working so hard. I don't know. Yeah, again, okay, telling these jokes. Okay. You know who else is working hard? Who? Who else is working hard? Gail King. No. Oprah's best friend, Gail. So yeah. she had her blockbuster interview with R. Kelly. Did you see it? I, I watched it. Did I see it? Who in the whole world <laughs> not see all those memes? Listen, the picture when he was up like this and she was sitting there like this, I, I was like it. serving. I thought that she should have went harder. No, I think she went hard enough to make him unhinged. He came across unhinged and guilty as hell. That's what I think. But anyway, Gail King, she knows she's putting in work and she wants the money to match the work. So the word is, that she wants George Stephanopoulos money to stay on. So so reportedly she makes about six million, while George, he makes between 15 and 18 million dollars. They make and six million dollars ask, asking questions. Yes. I've asked a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody paid me a jail thing. I'm like, Gail, I'll take your money. Gail, six million dollars. <laughs> you wanna give it to me, you, I'll take it. You could tell that conversation with her and Oprah. Girl, mm, listen. I wouldn't be able to put, my, put, put uh, gas in my, uh, <laughs> My tank. <laughs> if I was getting what they was paying you, girl, right? No, I'm saying no, but she she wants that money, and they want to keep her because fresh off of this interview, they know how much of an asset she is, and she also wants a post on 60 Minutes, so she wants to actually expand her role at CBS News too. At so least, she's not playing, right? Don't ever confuse her with Robin Robbins ever again, Fox I News. I know that was so <laughs> weird. They look nothing alike. Yeah, all black people don't look alike. Yeah, yeah, that's what she said. So she said she sent a little, a little uh, email over and was like, "All black people <laughs> don't look alike." She was on the Colbert show. That was hilarious. Go ahead, Gail King. Yes, mm -hmm. and and so remember Blockbuster, oh, Blockbuster Video. Remember them? Oh, I remember back in the days, like the nineties, eighties. Yeah, eighties and nineties. So there is down to one. There's one blockbuster left in the world. So Blockbuster in Australia recently closed and the final blockbuster is in Bend, Oregon. But why? Why do they have it? I don't know. But they love it. Like it's actually still play Miss Pac-Man. I, right? I, so. yeah. <laughs> I guess I get so. it. I get the nostalgia of it, right? Maybe. Who Maybe wants something like that? I wanted they charge the late fees. Remember the blockbuster? Oh my god. They used to charge you the yes. late fees and you're like 
I can't even get none of the new releases. Oh, I know, it's crazy. Oh, yeah. they run it the same way? I don't know. Who, wait, but what, what would you watch? Nobody gets DVDs. Like, I what, don't what, know what they, maybe they found a way to integrate it into the community, do, you know, maybe like you old just school just go to the library. You go to the library and get It's get Bend, videos. Oregon. How big is it? Again. You don't, you don't think, think they have a library? Where, where? Okay. Where? You never know. You never okay. Know. It's going strong. Okay, and some other good news. Yeah. 21 Savage. You know 21 yeah. Savage? Yeah, so he reportedly, he's going to uh, get, uh, um, he's offering 150 jobs to at-risk youth. Oh, that is amazing. That is amazing, that is amazing right? That is amazing, yeah. What's you? Because I got a 25-year-old. What's you? I think she's youth. That's that's youth right there. That's youth. She going to be at-risk because she don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> don't get at-risk again. Bunch in your damn. No, sorry. Okay. You need to stop. You need to stop. <laughs> Okay. And then more good news, mm -hmm. Tamron Hall, with her pretty self. Yes. She done hit us with the trifecta. Yes. So she reported that she's married to Stephen Greener. Which was a shock. I didn't even know she was married. Right, yeah. who, was, who, who was a music executive, right? Mm -hmm. uh, she's seven months pregnant. Mm -hmm. Did you see the video? No. She said, baby shark. I heard that R. Kelly was, was I heard that R. Kelly's doing a remix to that. <laughs> Inappropriate. Inappropriate. All right. Go on. Baby Shark. <laughs> R. Kelly and Baby Shark. That's hilarious. And y'all know it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and she's getting a new show in September. Yes. 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 The Tamron Hall show. Yes. Good. Yes. Go, go Tamron. Go Tamron. Black, Black Girl, girl Magic. Magic. And it's going to be amazing. Mm. And I can't wait. Baby, shark, 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 uh, that we was are, fun. Yes, yes, it is. And I we're going to be moving guys. on to um, our uh, What's Poppin' segment. We're going to be talking about a lot of different things. I'm a okay. pop lock. So when we say What's Poppin', anytime she say pop, I'm a pop lock. <laughs> is that your new thing? Is that your new thing? I'm just thinking, no. like, yeah, no, okay, sorry. no. So yeah, we're gonna be talking about a lot of things. First of all, messy, messy, messy trio. We got the Tristan Thompson, Chloe Kardashian, Jordan Woods. Oh, we'll poor talk about baby, that. she's a baby. Yeah, she's 21, but yeah, we're gonna talk. We're talking about that. Save that for what's popping. We're also gonna be talking about Jesse Smollett and his legal woes. Speaking of messy, and um, we're gonna be talking about unhappy endings with Robert Und Kraft. That's hilarious. <laughs> You like she, she coming for the joke, you like? <laughs> so if you want to see the second half, you need to subscribe to our YouTube channel, What's the 4 in 1 TV. Make sure you hit the bell so that you get all of our notifications when we put up a new video. Mm -hmm. And if you're listening on a podcast or the Alexa Flash Briefing, thank you so much. Tell a friend. And both of you, please subscribe. Yes. So, yes, we will be right back with What's Poppin'.